Hey, what's going on guys? I'm Mike from MoboxGraphics.com and in this video tutorial, I'm just gonna be showing you a way to improve your workflow between Premiere Pro and After Effects by maybe 10 times if you don't know this trick already. So let's go ahead and get started. So the trick here is linking compositions between After Effects and Premiere Pro. You can also link between Photoshop and um, Audition, but in this one, I'm gonna be showing you Premiere Pro and, and, um, and After Effects here. So um, I have this composition here. I have a video clip um, with an intro added, and it's just me playing Call of Duty, you know, shooting guys. So um, one thing you could do, so I'm gonna show you two tips, is you could add, add an effect to a clip from After Effects into Premiere Pro. So let's say for this time right here, I wanted to add kind of like an old film TV um, effect. What I could do is I could just right click this and go to replace with After Effects composition. So what this is gonna do is it's gonna open up After Effects if it's not already opened. Um, if After Effects is opened, it'll, it'll basically just make a new composition in that project. Um, but it went ahead and opened it. Um, my disk cast folder is overfilled, but we don't really care about that. Um, but when it opens a new uh, composition, it basically wants you to save the file first. That way um, things don't get corrupted between the two. So I'm just gonna overwrite this file here. And you'll notice that it brought in my clip from after or from Premiere Pro in it's at the right resolution. And if I go to composition settings, it's at the right frame rate also, which is perfect. So this thing is all ready to mess with. So I could just search for an effect called um, TV. So I'm just gonna drag one of these over and basically this will make it kind of look like it's an old TV. Um, obviously that this effect looks pretty terrible, but let's say that's the effect you wanted. When you jump back into, when you jump back into um, Premiere Pro, you'll notice that this clip now has that effect added um, only where I selected. So that's really cool. Um, in addition, I could right click this audio and go to um, edit clip in, in Adobe Audition and I can make a, a changes to the audio track as well. Um, okay, but let's say that's not what you wanted to do. Let's say what you wanted to do was um, have a counter that went up every time you got a kill. So it would be very confusing to create an animation in After Effects that said, okay, at this time, um, that's one kill. And then at this time, that's another kill. Uh, you know, it would just be a total nightmare. Um, but linking the compositions, it makes it really easy. So first thing I do is I just drag like a photo in and stretch it across the, the, the length of the clip. And I'm just going to scale it up to size. And now what I could do is when I right click this and go to replace with After Effects composition, it opens it up in After Effects in a new composition. So the same project folder, um, but it just a new composition. And then I just delete the image. Um, I haven't found a way to open, open up it in After Effects just as a new composition um, without the image, but uh, that, that's just how I do it. That's kind of like my little hack. So, okay. So next I wanna do is I wanna find the points in time where I get a kill. So there's one kill. Now I come to this, this is the timestamp where this um, point in time is. And I could just select it, hit Control C, come into After Effects. And here is the same dialog box except in After Effects. I could just click on it and hit Control V and it will bring me to the exact time that I need to be at. So I could, um, I could just type in a, I could type in kill, and I can add a text, a number, and let's say, let's say I just put it there. I, th this is not being designed in any particular manner. Um, well, now what I could do is I could open this text. I could, uh, I could add a slider slider control to the text. If I hold alt and select the source text, I could drag it up to the slider control. And now I've given myself control over this. So this is the time that I want. Um, and I can create a, a, a keyframe there. Press U on the keyboard. I'm just gonna drag this keyframe back a little bit. And I'm gonna change this to one because at that time I want the kill to go from zero to one. Um, now it, it, the slider's messed up because um, it's not being rounded. Um, I could show you how to how to fix that. Uh, I know this isn't probably what you what you want to do, but I'm just gonna go math.round 
and that, that'll fix that. Now it goes from zero to one. And when I jump back into Premiere Pro, you notice that my overlay's there. And it, as soon as I get the kill, it goes from zero to one. And I could just zoom forward. Okay, another kill is gotten, or is um, achieved right there. I could just copy this, whoops. I could just copy it, Control C, not Control V. Paste it here, uh, set a keyframe. Move it back slightly. And now change this to two. And now when I jump into Premiere, it is perfectly synced up. So there's my second kill. And then I die. So it looks like I only got two kills. <laughs> so anyways, guys, that's just a really quick way to link compositions between Premiere Pro and After Effects. It works great. Uh, when you go to render this, it's going to say that it's going to take forever, but really it's just it's just using the time it's taking to render the After Effects piece, and it's just extrapolating that across the whole project, and it doesn't really take that long. But um, I hope you did enjoy this video. I hope you learned something new. If you did, give it a like, subscribe, check out moboxgraphics.com for more uh, tutorials, free stuff, inspirational stuff. And uh, as always, uh, thanks for watching.